All right, this is Eric with Expire Music Rider YouTube channel. Uh, this is going to be a short video on Parker McCollum. And before I go into the actual video, I always like to give a little background of the artist and this and that. Um, Parker McCollum is a young singer-songwriter from born in, or raised in Conroe, Texas, but is based in Austin. Uh, he's 29, very, still very young. Uh, but he was, like I said, born in uh, Conroe on June 15th, 1992. Uh, his first single on EP was on his own record label and it came out in 2013. Then the Limestone Kid, his debut album, came out on February 24th, 2015, two years later. Uh, the Austin Chronicle gave it three out of five, 3.5 out of five, but it was too early to tell if it would be, you know, beaten or whatever. Uh, he has been compared to Charlie Robinson. Uh, and then uh, he came out with two more EPs, Probably be, no, I can't even talk. Probably Wrong Sessions 1, and uh, which came out on July 7th of 2017. Probably Wrong Sessions 2 came out about three months later, September 8th of that same year. And then in November, on November 10th of that year, the full album came out. Uh, he has been, some of his influences are Ron Bingham, Towns Van Zant, uh, Buck Owens, Willie Nelson, Porter Wagner, which is what his mother listened to, and then his brother and other family members uh, got him to listen to Ragweed, uh, Pat Green, and the Red Dirt Stuff, Chris Knight. And while he was working on his grandpa's farm, he discovered Towns Van Zant. Uh, Bob Dylan and Steve Earle. Like I said, he's still very young. But what I want to know is, is he going too mainstream right now? Like his first two albums are like Texas Country, and then he just signed a major label to a major label deal. Do y'all think that he's going too, ma or too mainstream? I reviewed, I hadn't reviewed it that much. But I liked it a lot better than what I thought. Because, you know, Texas music and Oklahoma music is a lot different than Nashville. But the only thing that I could see so far is they're a little bit more radio friendly, uh, some of the songs. And there's a lot more co-writes on the first two EPs, or not EPs, but first two albums. Uh, he's mainly the songwriter. You know, I think there was like actually one, I looked it up the other day on the Lonzo Kid and probably wrong. I think out of all the songs on there, there was only one co write. And on the new one, I can't think of what the new album's called, but uh, he got co writes with uh, Wade Bowen, Randy Rogers. Miranda Lambert, John Randall, Brian Keane. I think Brian Keane writes a lot with uh, Hayes Carl, if I'm not for sure. Uh, and some other people that are Nash, kind of Nashville-based. But I, I didn't like it at first. I was like, well, because I, I'm really bad about that. Uh, it's going to be too mainstream. But I actually like it. He still uses traditional instruments, uh, you know, and it's still got that country sound. You know, it's not too pop. Too pop, not too pop, too pop. So I give it mm, about seven, six or seven out of 10. If I was doing the deal and I'm gonna review it, I hadn't reviewed it so far, but I'm gonna go back and do an actual album review later. But that's what this uh, video is all about. I just want to know what y'all think of Parker McCollum and if he's going too mainstream or you think he will. 
let me know. See y'all later.